Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name's John McDonald, and today we're going to make an interesting arrangement. And uh, my inspiration really came from these stands. Now, these are metal stands that you can buy for using in a shop or using for competitions. And they're just nice, sturdy metal stands, which perfect on the ground, perfect with a plant, but actually you could hang them on a wall. So this opens up interesting ideas. And what I'd like to do is create a bit of an interesting frame with our two stands in combination. We might even lift this up a little bit and then we can create a bit of a wall hanging design with our stands and some interesting material. So we've got our containers now set up. What I've done is I've used a little bit of Oasis Fix, which is kind of this kind of green sticky putty, just to hold this frame onto here. And we've added a container like a low tree with some wet floral foam into the base. But what we've got is we've got nice space, so we don't really want to lose that. Um, and material wise, I want to use some nice trailing pieces. So this is really interesting. This is a, like a clematis that's like a wild clematis. So I just li love the, the seed heads that we've got and the shape that it has as well is really, really nice. So we'll bring that in. And also, this is some hops, which I've used once or twice before. So again, it's quite interesting material. And uh, the great thing about this is we can make something that's got a lot of kind of interest and depth, which will be quite interesting. So we're gonna put our foliage in first. And um, the good thing about putting your foliage in first is it's just creating a base for your design. Now, I do have a little bit of this periwinkle, which I think is really sweet. And uh, when I first set up the borders at the front of the house, the little person who was looking after my garden at that time, she obviously didn't like periwinkle and I'd put in about five or six different plants and she literally, the next time I came back, they were gone. So she didn't like it. <laughs> and a little bit of ivy. So because we've got this on the wall, we really want to just highlight that we can really drop material and uh, make, a, make a fun thing of that. But that doesn't mean to say that we can't go up neither. So we can really just make use of our, our frame that we've got. Now, this is quite interesting, this grass. We can bring this in. So this is going to be a nice contrast again with our wall. But the main flower that I wanted to use in here, oh, that's nice. Um, are these and this is like a perennial sunflower now this grows in my garden and it is an absolute weed um, it grows to far too tall a height it then gets blown over by the wind but it's just beautiful and I've got a whole lot of this just billowing away at the moment in the garden and it is it is stunning uh, and the bits that got blown over actually look great because they've just lain down a little bit and started to flower as well. So for all it's, it's too high in some ways, it's actually worked out just perfect 
the way it's done it. So, our other main flower is I do still have one or two of these beautiful dahlias and um, we're getting close to the end of the dahlia season but let's just put them in anyway. I think uh, dahlias really add a lot of um, wow factor to design if you've got them. They're nice and big and blousey and uh, they just bring a lot of vivid colour to design as well. So just mixing those together. Now I do have this one as a different one and this is one that I've got quite a few of. It's done particularly well and um, I'm going to have loads of them for next year. That seems to be the thing with um, dahlias. What I did in the spring was I got them started and then took cuttings um, and apparently if you do that you get better colour. Uh, but it also means you get twice as many plants, which is brilliant. And you can never have enough plants. Yeah, so we're really using these dahlias to good effect. As you can see, I'm very tidy, but sometimes I think if you're making a big arrangement, you're better just to make a mess and concentrate on the arrangement than worrying about being tidy and um, then you're kind of like neglecting your arrangement so just concentrate on the arrangement and then have a tidy up is better so this is um, zebra grass now the zebra grass um, I've used quite a few times and at the end of the summer it tends to flower and you get this beautiful beautiful flower head but you also still have the leaves so we can cut down so you've got a bit of a stem and you've got the leaf and um, you can bring that in and make that into a feature as well rather than thinking oh I can only use it as one main one main thing it is actually splittable down so i can do that there and we've created a little bit of a grouping of that and if i want to just take that through the back that works as well so not only have we got it here but we've got it echoing into there And then just step back and have a look. To be honest, I think we're good. Um, do we need that? Yeah, if you're not sure about things, then um, step back, have a look, reassess it, make an adjustment, and that's okay. That's what it's all about. I think we probably just need a little bit of yellow in through the back here. Just to take that colour in. Yeah. Deeper into this arrangement, it's a little bit dark. So just taking that colour right in there really makes it three dimensional, lightens up a dark corner and makes it more interesting. So I think, to be honest, this is nice as it is. We could add more material, but it would end up looking heavier and heavier. And uh, you need to just decide when it's at the right stage. So we've created an interesting sculpture, an interesting sculptural container, really, 
And then the black and the yellow actually make a really good combination color-wise. So I think we've got an interesting design that would look stunning on a wall, at an event, or in a space like a church. Uh, you could use this in lots of different ways. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, click here to subscribe and uh, tap that bell and keep up to date with all our new videos.